Will and Levi's Reading Channel for Kids. I'm Will, and today I will be reading Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Marie Sendak. And I would like, and before we read, I would like to give a shout out to Miss Backus for recommending this book. And I just wanted to say it is one of Levi and I's personal favorites. So let's begin. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. And his mom called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Listen, kids, don't do that. No, seriously, don't. I don't recommend it. That night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max. And he sailed off through night and day. I'd like to have a private boat. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. Look, he has a goatee. Nice. But don't mess with him. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and sewed their terrible claws. Everything's terrible about them. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And it made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And it went on and on and on. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world he smelled good things to eat so he gave up being king of where the wild things are would you give up being king right right no or yes in the comments below then explain why please but the wild things cried oh please don't go we'll eat you up we love you so and Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and sewed their terrible claws. It, but Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. Hmm. Lucky. And it was still hot. The end. Thank you for listening to Will and Levi's reading channel for kids. I'm Will, and I just wanted to say, please subscribe, and bye!